How's it great 12s? So today we're doing future value in advance, working from slide seven to nine from the finance PowerPoint. Okay, so yesterday you learned about the future value and uh, what would be your monthly payments or your quarterly payments or whatever the time period was. And if you noticed with those questions, it was always at the end of the month or at the end of the time period that you would pay this money in. Now, if we look at questions when they say that your payments start immediately or at the beginning of that time period, we just have to adjust our formula to have this times one plus I at the end. Now, what this one plus I does is it adds on that extra interest that you would get for paying at the beginning of that time period. Because, so for example, if you pay at the beginning of the month, you would get that interest for that whole month instead of paying at the end of the month where you miss that interest. So that's what that's doing. It's adding on that extra time period uh, interest added onto your payment. Okay. Uh, so to go through it with a future value in advance formula, you're looking for the keywords immediately or beginning. Now, what this formula does, it evaluates the annuity immediately after the last payment. And I'll come back to that with example two, uh, with the last payment. Okay. So if we look at the first example, it's saying a certain bond value is purchased at the beginning. So there's our keyword at the beginning. So we're going to be using this at the beginning of every quarter for four and a half years. Determine the bond value purchased every quarter if the portfolio has a closing value of 217 and 51 Rand and 82 cents at the end of the period after growing uh, at a rate of 12% per annum compounded quarterly. So if I just write down my variables, F, and our F here is 217 and 51 Rand and 82 cents. So that was the closing value of this bond. X equals, we don't know, that's what they're asking. What is our quarterly payments? Our interest is 12%. So that's 12 over 100. And our time period is four and a half years. Okay, so they've told us here that this is compounded quarterly, so I need to divide that by 4, and I need to times that by 4. If we work that out on the calculator, this will give us 3 over 100, and this will give us 18. Okay, so our formula is F is equal to X, 1 plus I to the power of N minus 1. all over i times 1 plus i. Substitute our values into the formula, and we get OK, and what I'm going to do here, great tools, is I'm just going to skip ahead. So I'm going to work out this section here on the calculator, get an answer. Then I'm going to say this amount divided by whatever that is. And if we do that on the calculator, we will get X is equal to 9,000. OK. So this person paid 9,000 every quarter to get a bond value of that, starting payments immediately. All right, going on to example two.
Okay, so example two is saying, 1,000 euros is invested in the CAC 40 index of the Paris Stock Exchange on the first of every month. So there's our keyword, the first. So we know we're going to be using our uh, future value in advanced formula. Uh, the first of every month. Calculate the value of the investment immediately after the 27th payment. If the CAC 40 grew by 13.7% per annum compounded monthly over the period. Okay, so if I put down my values here, F equals this we don't know, that's what we want to find. X is equal to, it's 1,000 euros uh, per month. Our interest rate is 13.7 over 100. And our time period is, they say here, after the 27th payment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this 26. And you'll see in a second why I'm making it 26. Okay, so I just want to see if my interest rate is fine here. This is compounded monthly. So what I need to do is I need to divide this by 12. And I'm not going to multiply this by 12 because I know that I'm going to get 26 payments. And now the reason why I'm saying 26 payments is because we're starting immediately by paying the 1,000. I'm going to have 26 of those payments. Then my 27th payment is not going to get any interest because they're saying, uh, the question is saying, Calculate the value of the investment immediately after the 27th payment. So that 27th payment is not going to get any chance to earn any interest. We are only going to get 26 payments that will get chance to get interest. And you'll see what I'll do with that 27th payment in a second. Okay, so our formula is uh, F is equal to X. 1 plus i to the power of n minus 1. All over i times 1 plus i. Okay, this is going to work for our 26 payments that are going to get interest. Now, what is going to happen with that final 27th payment that doesn't get interest? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to say here, plus final payment. And that final payment will be 1,000 euros, but it won't get any interest. So I'm just going to fill in all our information here. So we get 1,000. 1 plus, uh, sorry, grade 12s. Let me just work out what this is. Get 137 over 12,000. Okay, and our final payment is 1,000 euros. Okay, if we put that on the calculator, we will get a final future value of 31,416 and four cents, and it is euros. Okay, so that was just the tricky bit, was trying to get your time or your number of payments correct. Uh, sorry, this is to the power of 36 here. Uh, getting your uh, 26, sorry. Your number of payments correct. And just remember that your final payment won't get any interest because it has no time to get that interest. Okay, so grade 12, so what I would like you to do is exercise 4.2.
number three and four, and then exercise 4.3, numbers five and six. Tom, thank you so much.